Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about the factorial program. Okay, this is the definition of the factorial. Here we are talking about the non-negative integers. So in this tutorial we are only concentrating on the positive integer and zero. And the factorial of any numbers will be denoted by this. And this is nothing but the product of all positive integer less than or equal to n. For example, if I want to find out the factorial of 5, then we'll write like this 5 factorial. And this is nothing but the product of all the positive integers less than or equal to that number. That is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Okay, this is about the factorial definition. And now we'll write the program. Okay, so let's get started with the program. Okay, in the Python file, first we'll ask the user to enter the input. That is, we'll ask the user to enter the number for which he want to find out the factorial. So for that, first we need to take a variable which will hold the user entered input. Okay, so here I'll take my variable as n equal and I'll use input function to take input from the user. Here I'll write a message which will display on the output screen. I'll write enter the number. Okay, here this input function will take input as string value. That is now if I enter the number as 5, that is I want to find out the 5 factorial that entered input will be treated as the string value and that string value will be stored in this variable. But here we want to find out the factorial of integer numbers. That's why we need to convert that entered input to integer. So here I'll use int function which, which will convert entered input to integer value. Next I'll take another variable which will hold the final result. So I'll take the variable name as result and I'll initialize this variable by 1. Here result is a variable which will hold the final output. Next here we are using for loop to print the factorial of positive integer. So I need to write the for loop here. So for and next I need to take any variable. I'll take variable name as i in. Here I'll use range function, okay. Range function will give the sequence of numbers. Here we want that. That is if you want to find out the 5 factorial, then we want 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. These values, right. That's why I use the range function here. And here we can see first we want number 5. Next we want 4. Next we want value 3. Next 2. Next 1. Okay, so we want number as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So for that, I'll mention the range as n to 0 minus 1. Okay, here the starting value is n, ending value is 0 and the step is minus 1. Suppose if you enter the number as 5, then the n value become 5, right? Here range will become 5, 0, minus 1. So it will give output as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's what we want in our program. Here we can see, right? If we enter n value as 5, we want 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's why here I mentioned range like this. n, 0, minus 1. Here 0 is excluded. So it will give output as n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4 till 1. So if n value is 6, then it will give 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So next, here we can see, we want to multiply this number, right? That's what we'll do. We'll take result is equal to, as I said, result will hold the final value, right? So result is equal to result into or multiplication i. Okay. That's why I initialize result value as 1 because here we need to multiply that with the i if we initialize this variable with 0 then we'll get final output as 0 we don't want that that's why here i initialize this result as 1 okay and next 
I'll come out of this for loop and I'll print the result. So factorial of n is result. Okay, here uh, whatever we wrote within the double quotes will be printed as it is on the output screen that is factorial of and is. And here I want to print the value of n and result that's why I mentioned them without the double quotes. Okay. Okay, now we are done with our course so we need to save this and run this. Alright, it will ask enter the number so I'll enter 5. And here we can see the factorial of 5 is 120. Okay, now if I enter the value as 0, we'll see the factorial of 0 is 1. If I enter 4, it is 24. Okay, and now we'll see how this code will work. Okay, first uh, control goes to here and it will ask the user to enter the number. And this message will display on the output screen. So I'll show you this if I run this. First we can see this message right enter the number. So user need to enter any number here. So here in this tutorial we are talking about the positive integers and zero. So you need to enter positive integer or zero. Here I'll enter the value as four. Okay number as four. And now that 4 will be stored in this variable n okay next control goes to here and it will see the variable and it is initialized to 1 okay next again control goes to here that is for for loop and it will check range that is n 0 minus 1 we entered n value as 4 so range will become like this 4 0 minus 1 right so it will give output as 4 3 2 and 1 okay so we'll get this output from this range function and initially i value become 4 okay now i value is 4 next control goes to the inside the for loop body and it will execute this that is result is equal to result into i okay here i value is 4 and result value is 1 so we'll get output like this that is result is equal to here result into i here i value is 4 and result value is 1 so it will become 1 into 4 so it will give output as 4 so now the result value is 4 okay now again control goes to the for loop now i value become 3 okay okay now previously result value was 4 and i value becomes 3 okay now again control goes to the for loop and it will execute this result is equal to result into i so result value is 4 and i value is 3 so we'll get 4 into 3 so we'll get output as 12 okay now here result value becomes 12 and control again go to the for loop now i value becomes 2 okay so now i value is 2 so again control goes to the inside the for loop body and it will execute result is equal to result into i statement so here result value is 12 and i value is 2 so total answer is 24 okay now the result value become 24 and again control goes to the for loop and now i value becomes 1 okay so here i value is 1 and again control goes to the inside the for loop body and it will execute result is equal to result into i here result value is 24 and i value is 1 so we'll get output as 24 now the final result value is 24 okay again control goes to the for loop and here for loop range is over 
right so it will come out of this loop it will execute this print function and here result value is 24 that's why in the output we got output as 24 okay this is about the factorial program okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care